Hello everyone, welcome to today's webinar. Before we start our webinar, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Miriam. I'm here, the math instructor for Penn Foster. I did join the team back in 2015. I'm certified to teach high school math uh, in the state of Pennsylvania since 2010, and I um, just earned my master's degree in education last year. Today I'm going to go over some objectives here, and these are only the basics of fractions, the things that we need to know in order to be able to multiply, add, divide, and subtract. So before we, we are able to do those operations, we need to understand some basics about fractions. So before we get into the how to work with fractions, let's understand fractions. And we all have some background about fractions. So a fraction is a way to represent a part over a whole. So we usually use pizza or a cake or a pie to um, demonstrate the idea of fractions. So I brought those three pizzas just to give you an idea on how can we write a fraction to represent a part of a whole. The first pizza, without counting any parts, it looks like it's a half a pizza. So I can do one over two. And the second one is a half a pizza too. And the third one, as you see, is half. But I'm also able to rewrite the fraction using an equal fraction to a half. So if I look at this pizza, it originally had eight pieces. So the total number of the parts would be the denominator of the fraction that would be an eight. And if I want to represent how many pieces of that pizza is remaining on the tray, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and that will be the numerator for the fraction. So four over eight is the same way as saying half. These two fractions look so different, but in core, they have the same value. So I'm able to say that half equals to 4 over 8. The same thing with the second pizza. Originally had 12 pieces. So I'm able to write the denominator as the 12, the whole, the total number of pieces. And out of the 12, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces remaining on the tray. So 6 over 12 is equivalent also to a half. And again, these three fractions are different, but they have the same value. They are equivalent fractions or equal fractions. And the same way for the third one, originally had 16 pieces. So I'm able to represent the remainder of the pieces as a fraction with a denominator of 16, and then count the remaining uh, parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 over 16 is equal to a half. Now from this um, slide, we conclude that you are able to write half in so many different ways. And this is how we find the equal fractions to a given fraction. So if I want to do then, um, if I want to use math, instead of looking at the figures for the pizza, what do I do in terms of numbers and math that I'm able to go from a half to four over eight? Well, the idea of finding a, a, an equal fraction is to multiply the top and the bottom times the same number or the same factor. So to get from two to, to eight, I did multiply times four. And I have to do the same thing on the top times four. And that's how I got from one over two to four over eight. These two are equal and they remain equal because I did use the same factor on top and bottom. So one times four is four, two times four is eight. And the same thing, how did I go from half to six over six over 12? I did multiply, multiply times uh, six and times six. One times six on the top is six, two times six is 12. In the same manner with the last fraction, I did use the same factor, which is in this case, eight. And this is how we find equal fractions to a given fraction. How many equal fractions they are for a given fraction, there is infinite number of equal fractions. 
So if I want to use the same method with only fractions, no figures, nothing to demonstrate, um, how can I get an equal fraction to a given fraction? How do I do math again to find an equal fraction? So question number one is asking 10 over 15 is equivalent to which fraction so that the other fraction has a 60 in the denominator. So find an equal fraction to the given fraction 10 over 15 so that this equal fraction has a 60 in the denominator. The same way we have done with the pizza example. I want to find a factor. I'm able to multiply 15 times, so it give, give me the 60, the denominator given in the equal fraction. So 15 times what should give you 60? If you're not sure, you can pick up your calculator and divide 60 over 15 will give you what? That will give you the factor. The factor in this case is a 4. 15 times 4 is 60. And to keep the fraction equal, I need to do the same thing on the top. So 10 times 4 is 40. So 40 over 60 is the same as saying 10 over 15. Is 40 over 60 this the, the only equal fraction to 10 over 15? And the answer is no. There is unlimited number of equal fractions to the given fraction. But the only fraction I decided to write here is 40 over 60 because they determined that the denominator must be 60. So in that case, there is one equal fraction to 10 over 15 that has a 60 in the denominator. If you have any questions, you can type your questions in the questions box. Number two, the same thing. What over 108 equals to 4 over 9? In this case, 4 over 9 is the given fraction. The denominator in the equal fraction should be 108. What times 9 will give you 108? You can divide. 108 over 9 will give you the factor, and the factor in this case is 12. So since we did multiply 9 times 12, we have to do the same thing on the top, 12 times 4, and that will give you the numerator for the equal fraction 48. The same thing, 2 over 6 equals to what over 144? Again, 2 over 6 is the given fraction. 6 times what will give you 144? Not sure. Divide. Divide 144 divided by 6, and that will give you the factor that you're going to use to find the numerator for the equal fraction. 6 times 24 should equal to 144. Do the exact same thing on the top times 24. 24 times 2 is 48. So 48 over 144 is an equivalent fraction or is an equal fraction to 2 over 6. Okay, let's look at a self-check question. These questions are there just to give you um, an idea of how a question would look like, give you a chance to do the question yourself. So the question again is the same thing that we have been doing since the beginning of the webinar. What is the equal fraction to 5 over 3 such that the equal fraction have an 18 in the denominator? Which one of these are an equal fraction to 5 over 3? You can have your time, write down the question, and think about a factor that you multiply 3 times and will give you 18 and do the same thing on the top for the 5, and what number you should put on the numerator. Remember, if you're not sure what factor you should use, you can divide. You can divide the second denominator, 18, divided by the original denominator, 3, and that should give you the factor. And if you use it correctly, you'll be able to find the correct answer from the ones given in this question. So again, the question is asking 5 over 3 equals to what over 18? We figured out that 6 would be the factor because 3 times 6 will give us the denominator and the equal fraction. So multiply times 6 and multiply times 6 on the, on the top. 6 times 5 is 30. So B is the right answer. 30 over 18 is an equal fraction to 5 over 3.